Mr. Jordan. I think the chairman, uh, the ranking member started her statement by saying the border is secure. Really? More than 5.5, more than five and a half million illegal aliens along the southwest border have been encountered since Joe Biden took office. Two million of these illegal aliens have been released into American communities and more than one and a half million known illegal gotaways have successfully crossed the southwest border undetected. These include criminal gang members, drug dealers, and individuals on the terrorist watch list. That is not a secure border. That is not a closed border. I never said that. I never started my statement that with is, a secure border. Mr. That has happened because just on day the one. I'm correcting the record the because you stated something that was not true. Thank you, Mr. General lady should know that interrupting a member with, without making a valid point of order fatal, is, is against the, the, the rules of the committee. Um, lie about what I the, said. The time belongs to the chairman. The chairman's recognized. I would just point out the gentlelady said Republicans say the border is open. She said that's not so. Is that so? What, what does that mean? If it's not open, and so is it something that's not secure, not closed? I would just I would just saying what she referenced in her opening statement. Day one of this administration, they stopped construction of the wall, they ended remain in Mexico, and they put back in place catch and release. Day one. That is why we have the situation we do. In that same time period I just talked about. 28 months of this administration, over 43,000 pounds of fentanyl have been seized at the southwest border with an unknown amount making it into our communities. And there's also been an uptick in the number of individuals on the FBI terrorist watch list. Just two weeks ago, Border Patrol apprehended an Afghan uh, who illegally crossed into San Diego sector uh, in California, and days later, news reports indicate that an additional five watch-listed illegal aliens were apprehended in Tucson, Arizona, after attempting to avoid detection. Our witnesses today understand the consequences of our borders being unprotected all too well, all of them. And I want to thank them for being here today. I want to particularly thank Ms. Nobles for bravely agreeing to appear here today to talk about the unthinkable tragedy that affected her family. Her daughter, Kaylee, was 20 years old when she was assaulted and murdered. The person charged with the crime was an MS-13 gang member who was allowed to enter the United States after crossing the border illegally as a so-called unaccompanied alien child. Despite the USC having a criminal history in El Salvador for MS-13 gang affiliation well before he even entered the United States, law enforcement only became aware of this fact after Kaylee's murder. Why not until after Kaylee's murder? Because prior to the murder, no one in this administration bothered to check into the UAC's criminal history in his home country. And the Hamilton family was not alone this year in experiencing such a horrific event. In January, suspected cartel members massacred six people, including a 10-month-old infant, assassination style in Goshen, California. In April of this year, a nationwide manhood, manhunt ensued after a man who, was, who had been deported on four separate occasions killed five people, including a nine-year-old boy. It's well past time that we enforce the law, secure our border, and we should pass, the Senate should pass, the bill that we passed in the House just a few weeks ago so we can get our border under control and secure. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.